For smaller heating systems or areas, you have several options, with two of the most common choices being heat pumps and furnaces. Both systems have their advantages and disadvantages, and understanding the pros and cons of each can help you make an informed decision. In this video, we'll compare heat pumps and furnaces to help you determine which one is the right choice for your heating needs. Advantages of heat pumps. Number one, energy efficiency. Heat pumps are highly efficient and can provide both heating and cooling. They work by transferring heat from the outside air or ground into your home, making them more energy efficient than traditional furnaces. Heat pumps are efficient because they use electricity to transfer heat rather than create heat by burning a fossil fuel like natural gas. As the outside air temperature drops, the efficiency will also drop, but will still remain more efficient than most other methods of heating until the temperature drops to negative 10 Fahrenheit minus 23 Celsius. Number two, lower operating cost. Because they use electricity to move heat rather than generate it, heat pumps can lead to lower monthly heating bills especially in regions with moderate climates. This is dependent on the cost of electricity and fuel in your area. If natural gas is much cheaper than electricity in your area, then a payback analysis would have to be done to see if operating costs are less using a heat pump. Number three, year-round comfort. Heat pumps offer both heating and cooling functions, eliminating the need for a separate air conditioner in the summer. A heat pump uses a reversing valve, which allows for the heat to be absorbed outdoors even when the weather is cold and sent to the indoors to provide heating. Number four, environmentally friendly. Heat pumps produce fewer greenhouse gas emissions compared to furnaces, contributing to a greener environment. There is a move to eliminate the use of fossil fuel-based appliances in pursuit of zero emissions. New York has recently passed legislation that would ban fossil fuel appliances in buildings seven stories or less in 2026. Whether we like it or not, there is a large push to go all electric, and so we should expect more legislation in this area. Disadvantages of heat pump. Number one, upfront cost. Heat pump installation costs can be higher than that of furnaces, particularly for geothermal heat pump systems. See our video on how geothermal heat pumps work. Additional costs can be attributed to electrical panel and service upgrades for older homes lacking the additional electrical capacity. This could be offset by utility rebates and incentives. Number two, performance in extreme climates. Air source heat pumps become less efficient in extremely cold weather, requiring a backup heating source in colder climates. It's important that the heat pump is sized correctly based on the outdoor design temperature for the region. Heat pumps lose capacity as the temperature drops. This can cause insufficient heating capacity if the outdoor temperature drops below the outside design temperature. At the point on this chart where the two lines meet is where a secondary source of heat such as electrical heater can be initiated on these extreme cold days. Since these extreme temperatures occur only on a small percentage of the time, the energy penalty is small. Most areas can benefit from heat pumps except those in extreme climates below minus 20 Fahrenheit minus 29 Celsius. Number three, maintenance. Heat pumps require regular maintenance to ensure optimal performance and lifespan. See our article on heat pump maintenance tips. Advantages of furnaces. Number one, effective in cold climates. Furnaces, particularly those powered by natural gas or oil, excel in providing consistent and powerful heating, making them suitable for very cold climates. Furnaces are rated by the amount of BTUs they provide as heat to the space. The heat put out by a natural gas furnace is not affected by the temperature outdoors. 
the furnace will always put out the rated BTUs as long as it's running properly. For example, if a furnace is rated for 125,000 BTUs per hour, then it doesn't matter whether it's 65 or 10 degrees out, the furnace still puts out 125,000 BTUs. This is not the same for heat pumps whose capacity is reduced as the weather decreases as previously discussed. Number two, lower upfront cost. Furnaces are often more budget friendly when it comes to installation costs. As we previously stated, heat pumps may require an electrical upgrade. Number three, quick warm up. Furnaces can heat a home rapidly, providing almost instant comfort. Number four, longevity. Well-maintained furnaces can have a long lifespan. Disadvantages of furnaces, number one, higher operating costs. Furnaces tend to have higher monthly operating costs compared to heat pumps, especially if powered by oil or electric resistance heating. Natural gas furnaces can have lower operating costs depending on the cost of gas and electricity in the area. Number two, limited efficiency. Furnaces generate heat, which can be less energy efficient than heat transfer methods used by heat pumps. Newer condensing furnaces can achieve efficiencies above 90%. Number three, environmental impact. Furnaces that run on oil, coal, or natural gas can have a significant environmental impact due to emissions. As previously mentioned, there is a global move to get away from fossil fuels. Number four, separate cooling system. Furnaces don't provide cooling, so you'll need a separate air conditioning system if you want both heating and cooling capabilities. There are three main components for a split system gas electric air conditioner. There is the outdoor condensing unit, the indoor furnace, and cooling coil. In summary, the choice between a heat pump and a furnace depends on your specific needs, climate, budget, and environmental considerations. Heat pumps are generally more energy efficient and environmentally friendly, while furnaces are known for their effectiveness in extreme cold. By evaluating the pros and cons of each system, you can make an informed decision that best suits your home and lifestyle. If you need help deciding or have questions about heating options for your home, don't hesitate to reach out to a professional HVAC technician who can provide expert advice tailored to your situation. You can check out the latest cost of these two systems by clicking on the link in the description below. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.